Oh boy. I bought this guitar the other day because it's a good teaching guitar. It's cheap, 1930s little plywood guitar. It's got a loose top and braces, loose back. The neck's going to come off. So I use these for teaching on. And now I'm going to teach how to fix the broken peg head. I'll get a chance to show you a pretty complicated break. There's a lot happening here where the pieces of wood have to go back together like this. Right now I'm going to get some little tools and pick out all the dirt and get all the pieces and shards of wood lined up so it, it'll work for me. I'm using a pair of manicure tweezers and a, an X-Acto knife with a number 11 blade. Picking out anything that's going sideways. The wood's supposed to go that way. This part's pretty clean, but up here we got a lot of crushed fibers. And I'm going to actually pick out the ones that I think will keep the piece from going together right, like that. I don't need that piece, because I wanted those pieces to get together like this, where it's bent down. Sometimes I'll use a little brush and just dust. This little file cleaning brush is nice too. For a glue, I'm going to use high glue. I'm not going to use the hot high glue that I normally would use because it gels pretty fast and I might not have enough time for a complicated job like this. So I'm using the liquid high glue. It has an expiration date on the bottle, but I always test it. And I did that last night with the test board, and it dried hard as a rock. Before I can put the peg head on, I've got another crack here that's running down at an angle through the grain. I'm going to open that up with a couple little wedges. I've got some hot glue here. I just keep it in the glue pot to get it warm. The little suction cups will force glue down into that crack real nice. This is just hot water. With these bottled high glue, I've got plenty of time to get glue on the surface. Right now, if I was using the hot high glue, it would have gelled on me. I would have to start all over again. The hammer drives the pieces together. It's like driving a nail. You can see the joint close up. I'm cleaning all the glue off and I'm washing out the part where the wood's missing so whatever I stick in there later will have a cleaner surface to stick to. May get to play this guitar after all. Wax paper, some acrylic, more. It's not going to be perfect but it's going to be really strong because that's a big break. There's a lot of glue surface there. That'll probably be stronger than the wood ever was. We'll check it out tomorrow or later today. I don't expect it to be perfect, just prepared. And I'm going to find something to fill that chip with. Probably mix up some epoxy, maybe. I'll deal with that later.